Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we're doing pretty well this time. We're jumping in as Tainted Maggie, who's a pretty interesting one to go as, to be honest, because I think she has some pretty heavy risk associated with her, but she's also a lot of fun. Mad Onion's a pretty good item to get off the bat. I'm going to yum her and then go in here straight away and hope that it's something that will be valuable to us. I mean, we got some charge out of that, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, of course, this character's pretty good. Honestly, the uh, the onion is making us look pretty gnarly right now, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, not a, not a particularly hard character. I think the Mad Onion is a small chance to um, to fire a tier that has no modifying effects, but has a lot of extra damage, which right now is literally all positive. So that's good. <laughs> and hopefully we can get some on um, on contact effects, which would be pretty nice. Uh, as for the question of the day today, what's one of the most important things you've done recently? What's something that you've done that you've that you felt is particularly important recently? For me, I just like I've been honestly killing it for my company at the moment and doing a bunch of uh, important meetings and stuff, and it's it's been it's been a bit like sort of adult, <laughs> as in like not what I'm used to, and it feels very real, but also like it's been pretty satisfying. It's, it's been it's been going reasonably well. Now that I've got seven cent, I will check out my shop, just in case I have a um, shop item worth buying. Also, it's very worth checking this out. It's almost definitely super good. There you go. Unfortunately, not. Forgotten arm is actually a pretty good one as well. Um, oh, sausage, sausage. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford sausage. Um, that is a, a bit of a shame that it's just kind of chilling there, and it's. Unfortunately, a bit of our, out of our reach unless we get some specific items here. Right, good, good. Nice, easy kill on that guy. Ah, bugger. Although, speed up is quite nice. I don't think there's any which way in which we get enough money for sausage here. There's nothing we can do about it. It's unfortunate, but we have to uh, we have to accept and cut our losses and just get it go down to the next floor. Keep on going. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be reinvigorated. I I'll be honest. The last like maybe month or so, I've been really sort of down on Isaac. I mean, I spoke about it in the last episode. The views have just not been great. They've still been fine. Like I'm still happy enough, but like it's always a bit annoying when it's like you get a pretty significant dip. We're getting like sort of eight, nine hundred views a video, and it's gone down to like five, six hundred, which is a pretty big dip. Um. Which is always a bit of a shame, but I, I think I'm just gonna fucking ignore it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get back to enjoying Isaac and not think about it, because every time I think about it, I just get myself in a bad mood, and it it always picks up later on. It's it's never permanent, so and I'm gonna start like new series and stuff along the way that'll hopefully help out. I've got Risk of Rain going, which is not particularly a high view series ever, but it's a fun one. And I'll probably bring back Voidigo for a little bit as well, because people seem to like Voidigo. And I'll bring back a Dead Estate as well, because people like Dead Estate. And I think there's a bunch of different series that we can uh, we can capitalize on that people will enjoy. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do in terms of upload schedule for them. I'll be honest, it's going to be a bit all over the place. But I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. While well, we've got a charge of our young heart, might as well just go for this. Lovely consolation prize, which I don't know what that'll be actually. Um, it'll be plus one damage. Very, very nice. We obviously don't want to lose a. Um, was that a bomb? Yeah. We obviously don't want to lose any red health right now, so I'm not going to take the devil deal. You know what? You need to get out of the way. Thank you. Right, let's go check out what our item room might hold for us. I don't know what I'm hoping for. I'd just like some sort of on hit effect. That would be ideal. And also getting milk of Baphomet from the boss at some point would be really nice. That's a really fun item to get on this character. Yum heart it up. Oh, we got a mega heart cluster there, which is kind of nice. And what we got? You, you two lying around. Okay, throw it in here because we got this heart cluster there. And we did get a theme, which isn't um, isn't an undamage effect, but it is good. Can, can you chill out, my guy? There you go. What does this do? On you steals half a heart of damage of half. A red heart of damage and either displays an evil fortune spawns a black heart or spawns a reverse tarot card. Kind of interesting, but I think obviously a fave is the way to go here, obviously. I think that's a given. 
fame is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Check out this bad boy. Oh, yes. Okay, it's not an undamage effect, but it is one that benefits from us um, running up on enemies, which is really nice. And then in here, not really much we can get, although we can play this guy a little bit. Unfortunately, I, I, I ate that heart cluster. Otherwise, I'd have been in a good, better spot there. Um, nah, he's not paying out. I just need to see if these red hearts over here are real or not. And I don't think they are. Like, as in, are they just on the map because I walked out before they disappeared? Or actually, are they actually in this room? I don't remember. Either way, I don't really think I have the bandwidth to, uh, to go for that. Oh, no, they are here. They are here. It's a little bit too late now. But uh, secret room... Secret room's actually very plausibly right here. Mm, yeah, it is, it is. Very plausibly right here. It's also very plausibly right there. We've got two bombs, I'll gamble on this. What's going on with these guys? That was an insane yield. <laughs> wow, that was very, very good. Okay. Let's go to our shop and see what we can get going on over there. Oh, that's not our shop. For some reason, I thought I was in the right room. I knew it was a long room, but I didn't know which one. Um, soul Converter converts one Soul Heart or Black Heart into what? That's actually ludicrously good for this character. Um, just depends when we end up getting Soul Hearts, but that's that's very, very nice for us. We can we can do a lot with that. We us try and blow up this pot just in case we get the quarter. You never know. You never know. Oops, there's a random Ethereum ring in here. Right. Let us keep her moving. But yeah, that's insanely good for us and gives us a lot of protection. Remember back in the day when Soul Converter didn't have a charge when Repentance first came out and it was just insanely good? I mean, it still is very, very good considering... I think it used to be three Soul Hearts for one, then they made it a one-to-one -one conversion. It just... It didn't make it busted, but it made it very good. Oh, that was a bit of a stupid bomb for me. Ooh, card reading's very nice. I will definitely take that. We get red cat. Picking up a soul heart with an empty red heart will convert it to red hearts that are two times rate, two times health up. So basically, this is fine. Um, but we have to make sure that we um, we have to make sure that whenever we pick up a soul heart, we're at full red hearts. Otherwise, it'll just turn into he uh, turn into healing, which we don't want because. Yeah, I just, I just, I just made that exact error there. <laughs> My bad. Okay, it's fine. It is fine. I'm liking having a theme on top of all this. It's nice. I guess that's good for now. We're heading that way, so why not? Or at least we're planning to head that way. Yeah, a theme is is a real nice addition to all of this. I think I'm in love with this run. I mean. This is just one of my favourite characters anyways. I think this character just enables so many items that normally aren't too good to be really good. Um, that's a pretty good item as well. Good. Get of extra money. Obviously, we want to find our shop here. There it is. Yeah, during our iframes, we can use our sacrificial dagger to do some damage. Red stew is obviously great. Uh, we pick that up and then convert it. Beautiful stuff. Take that. I'll crack that up and see what we get. Good, good. Yeah, we have... We're, we're very healthy right now. And obviously, red stew is going to help quite a lot for a little while here. But it also means it's pretty hard for us to lose our devil deal right now, which is really nice. Our angel deal chance, should I say. Gonna be times like that as well where I don't actually end up meleeing the enemy, I just killed them with my sack dagger. I just have to have, to have it at the right angle, of course. Good stuff. Yeah, lots of damage with red stew there. Yum heart, pick that up, and then turn it into one of those. Extra actual damage and look for a theme is very, very nice. Yeah, I've never really thought about how goddamn good. Um Soul Converter would be in this scenario, and it is it is quite good. Ooh, Knockout Drops is good too. We've got some tier effects going on here. 
That was pretty lucky. Like letter tile. Um, ooh, luck based effect. Yes, I think that's better. You gotta remember, our melee is good, but it's not forever. Like once we once we get into the later floors, it's a little hard to use our melee effectively. Could take some luck down for some money, but I don't think I really need to. Try and use Yum Heart in this next room without hurting myself too much. Yum Heart, good, good. Yeah, we've got so much buffer to work with now. I'm hoping we get an angel deal this floor on a decent chance now. We have a lot of good tier effects going on right now. I mean, you can see that our tiers are able to do a pretty good job already here, even without the aggressive hugs. But it's good that we can actually pick up soul hearts to heal, like, basically once we inevitably get to full red hearts. Um, full red heart containers will still have the ability to um, to heal using soul hearts. That's obviously not great because we're going to lose it pretty quickly, but I'll take it. I'll not use my melee until I lose it, I guess. We're just trying to capitalize as much as I can on red stew at the moment. It's obviously going to disappear soon. Ooh, very nice for the shock. Um, actually, we've already been to our shop, doesn't matter. We fought, um, the little fella himself. Bow. Oh, man, no. Just a fair man, with this damage is insanely good. Fire rate is pretty nice as well. Revive is, is useful. It's not something that's obviously the best for us right now, because we're probably not going to die, but... I think overall it's not bad. Oh, I forgot about my apple, I'll be honest. I completely forgot about it. Got a verp. I guess we'll hold on to that in case we get something good for verping. Doing these extra rooms here just because why not? Beautiful. This, this, this seems like it's going to be a, a fairly quick run. A fairly quick run. I'm hoping for. Alright, let's keep this moving. Go straight to our boss now, I think. There's much else for us to see here. Could have gone to the Stephen floor, I guess. But the Stephen floor is one of those things where it's nice to have installed for the rare chance I want to use it, but it's not all that often that I actually want to use it. Perfectly copies the effects. Um, perfectly generic, generic objects. Copies the effects of objects. It's kind of interesting. I see what object it drops. Mm, not great. Uh, that is something I'll consider. At the minute, obviously, this is way better. Soul Convert is just too good to let up. But there's a potential chance that I want that. There's a potential chance that I want to keep that. Yum high up there. Yeah, whatever. I love, I love playing as this character because you just don't have to care about taking like small damage like that. We're in such a strong spot to stay at full health. Slick Spade is a nice one. We've got a lot of tier effects at the moment going, which I quite like. It's really helpful for later on. Uh, we got a lot of free stuff here. Oh, we're Yum Heart into that and then that. I know that obviously that was a bit of a waste getting that for free, but. I'm fine with it. Just gotta be quick with it, and then we uh, managed to get something pretty beautiful out of that. A burn heart is pretty useless to us, to be honest, but thank you nonetheless, game. I shall accept it. Oh, that was a really stupid <laughs> decision by me there. God damn you, I've just got tier effects galore. Not something you expect to get as tainted Maggie, really. Not conducive to her success for the most part, but very nice when it happens. I always love um, any run, to be honest, where you get a bunch of different tier effects. They're, they're, they're definitely the most fun ones, because they've got a lot of variety. By the way, just gotta say, is anyone else playing Icicle? It's the new Wordle 
sort of style game, but for Isaac, where you got every day there's a new item, you got to guess what it is. Um, I got yesterday's in four guesses, and I got today's in um, I got today's in five guesses, and it, it's really hard. Basically, it, it the, the daily item could be any item from the game, any item from the vanilla game. Um, and then you you guess an item, whatever, whatever one you want, and then it'll give you basically if you got certain categories wrong or like partially correct or correct. So it'll be like the quality, what DLC it's from, um, the color, um, what what it affects, and stuff like that. And you've got to use that information to find the item. And I got. I don't know. I, I feel like I got really lucky on today's. I I I was I felt like I was bit basically nowhere near it, and I took a, a wild stab based on the information I had, and it ended up being correct. And I was pretty mind blown. I don't want to say what it was because if anyone wants to go and play it now, it'd spoil it because it is still this will this will be releasing on the day that I played it. So I don't want to spoil it for anyone that does want to go out and uh, try it out. But yeah, I, I was I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I think. Anything under sort of six guesses is pretty good. Um, it is a it is a pretty difficult um, difficult thing to do, to be honest. And yeah, like one of the things I will say is there's some sort of like category issues with it at the moment, where like the the DLCs are split into up into like Flash, Wrath of the Lamb, Rebirth. It's like really anything that released with rebirth should just class as rebirth flash and wrath of the lamb shouldn't be their own thing really because it just it, it's it's a lot more confusing for people that didn't play those games <laughs> um which i mean maybe, maybe it's part of the point but I, like i don't know I, I wouldn't personally do that there is also hints as well once you get to four guesses you get some hints but the hints are literally like ridiculously easy like they literally ruin the game so i just don't use them it's like oh uh, you can get a hint and you can see the silhouette of the item it's like the silhouette of the item gives so much away Ooh, a spin down i don't know what that dice is there uh i think i'm just gonna take that for now it's, i think it's pretty good and then we'll uh, we'll hold on to the spin down and see if it ends up being valuable to us. It most likely will be. I'm gonna take this because we don't need much of our money, and um, I would like to get the all stats up if we can. It's rare, but. Damn it. Hey, there it is. Got a half decent chance of getting the all stats up with this. There's also a look up in here as well, so I'm gonna keep going. We got another all stats up. And another one. Oh my lord. This this penny's going forever. What the hell? Okay, finally changed. I don't know if that was a glitch that it changed into that penny or not. I have no idea. Oh, really? This is so slow, man. Oh, what a tedious room. <laughs> Did get a heart out of it, though. I like the anchored enemies. That's useful. Really, a creep on you? I didn't realize. Lots of hearts there, lovely. Glass spin down. Okay. Oh, I just used my glass spin down by accident. My bad. I meant to use the um heart, obviously. Lots of chain breaking sounds going to be happening here. Yeah, having enemies sort of stay in their corner is very nice here. I can clear you, I guess. Why do this to yourself, man? Why? Why do that to yourself? You little shit. The token there. We'll keep the token there just in case we found like a soul heart or something. Lost some money there, but it's okay. 
We've been to our shop anyway, we don't need amp the rest of our money. What am I hoping for from this floor? I was hoping for something I could spin down, but <laughs> that dream is dead. Have I pushed this guy like way off the map? Yes, I have. Get back here, you. Ooh, he's a contraband boy. What's the, why have I got this bleeding? Is it um, Slick Spade that's bleeding? It must be, right? I'll leave that soul heart there a minute. Bad Apple. 8% chance to run firing, send all into bad that deal half damage. Special positive synergy with other Apple items. I'm going to leave that for now. Ooh, I'll open that. That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to take more health than that. Right. We're on full health. I'm back over here. Grab that. Do that. Then we come back over here. Bob's heart's actually fine by me at this stage. Taking damage on close range anyways, so it doesn't really bother me. You guys can't move, you're locked down. Get shit on. Nice sending in in enemies into gold like that, I will say. What's going on with you and the spike rock here? Nice. We'll quickly hop in here, see if there's anything of value. Not particularly. Right. Then... Have we seen that item room? We haven't, have we? No, we, we, we were just in it. We were just in it. Oh, no, we weren't. No, no, no. That was, that was just a Bob boss fight. Back this way we go. Unfortunately, I've just realized how bad um, the tokens are, because it's just going to give me a half heart, right? <laughs> the token doesn't really work for us in this scenario. At least we've got a soul heart working for us this floor. Right, there's our item room. Halo flies is just fine for us. Right, uh, quickly go and bomb this and see if we can kill the boss in time. Really? Right. Quickly go and try and do the boss as speedily as we can. How did that Bob's heart thing not explode then? We should be able to get the kill before um, time runs out, especially if a Thane procs a few more times. I like that combo of knocking something away with a fist and then a Thaming. And then we take Polaroid, obviously. And Hypercoagulation is pretty goddamn amazing with this. Uh, taking damage drops a half red heart or full red heart, depending on how much Isaac lost. Yeah, that's it's pretty amazing. That basically allows us to still still melee on the um, on the wound floors. Are you a wizard? Are you a wizard? Right, let us go. Bit worried about how low my HP is getting, just draining, but we should be able to get it back pretty quick. But yeah, hypercoagulation basically means that now, when we run into an enemy, oh really? You gave me the blue portal? Are you kidding me? Right. So yeah, now if we come over here and we do this. Broken remote isn't obviously something I want. Although I will say, you just saw there, the heart does kind of have quite a, quite a hearty launch. 
So sometimes it's not plausible to grab. Sometimes it is. Either way, I think this is good. Lovely stuff. It seems, it seems to not always prosper. I'm not seeing the heart launch away from us every time, which is kind of weird. I would have just expected it to work every time. I'm literally just using this to shortcut through here. I can't be asked walking around everywhere. Right, just make sure we don't melee all the time. Still good to melee, but... We don't need to use it for every single bit of combat. We'll push forward through. Bob's heart thing there doing some damage to us, but as I said, we just don't really care when we've got this ability to heal. It's just not really the same, is it? We've got Yum Heart to back us up as well. Really, this isn't the right way? God damn it. Fuck yeah, I'll take care of the tower. We don't have any bomb upgrades, so it's not like amazing. Fuck off, get out of it. It's not amazing, but it's, it's, it's decent, it's decent. Um, taking damage activates Berserk Mode and you start using your Knuckles. Knuckles insta-kill enemies with less than 100 HP and deal 5 times your damage to enemies with more than 100 HP. Duration of effects 2.5 seconds and can be changed in... Oh, very, very nice. Okay. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, this is cool. That is very cool indeed. Right, I'm holding off on punching things right now because I might be able to get another heart container here. If I play this right. Back over here. Quickly zoom back this way. Pop this, grab that, do that. There you go. Full on heart containers. Lovely stuff. Crack key. But yeah, now if we run into enemies, we punch things like crazy. I've not had this item before, I don't think. I don't think I've seen it before. I like it. I most certainly like it. Oh, really? That hit me? Gotta be careful, because I, I am taking quite a bit of damage. Like I said, my tears are perfectly fine, so I don't have to use um, punching all the time. I didn't realize I could push this guy, by the way. <laughs> I pushed him away, and I didn't realize it's something I could actually do. <laughs> I just keep moving him back a little bit each time. You stay corner bound, you. It's where you belong now. Old bandage, obviously amazing. And what we got going on here? So we got spawn, uh, spawn even as a second character. Um, plus one life while intact. Isaac respawns with one soul heart. Um, can revive Isaac once. Uh, can revive Isaac once per four, but three projectiles for shattering. Minus one luck when shattered. Okay, so not great. I'll be honest, but I guess we'll take it. Right, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, having a feeling that idol will be. Uh, not much good to us, to be honest. Well, it's shattered already. It shattered almost instantly. Yeah, that's a nice way to kill things. Oh, lovely. Lovely game. I don't know what you're doing there, but it was confusing. Right. Down we go. We still gotta be careful. Honestly, this isn't a great idea with, with no charge for my active. I've gotta be very careful about being hit here. Of course, what I could do is get hit on purpose and then just go at him like a fucking 
madman, but I don't think that's the best solution right off the bat. If I get hit, however, it's good. Okay. I feel like I've made mistakes here. This that that, that was that was bad. <laughs> I took a lot of damage there. It seems that when I'm in that that rage mode, I have like fewer eye frames, maybe. I'm not 100% certain about that, but it feels that way. Amazing. Right, that bomb was stupid. But we actually got through this lovely. Right, now we've got to be careful, because my health is pretty precious at this point. We need to use Yum Heart to get ourselves back on, pot, back on track. Good item. Good item. That's instantly freeze on contact, which is very good as this character. Once we get our health back, that is. I don't really feel like doing it right now. I'll be honest. Really? It's just more of you? I've got to get the hearts wherever they're, wherever they're plausible. Yeah, with Peppermint plus the toothpaste is two pretty good items. Freezing fires and freezing on hit is very, very nice, actually. Okay, we got a good amount of health out of that and a charge for our young heart. I'm going to get another charge pretty shortly here as well. I'm just going to keep on top of things, really. Make sh uh, basically, I just want to make sure we can go into the boss fight with near to full health. All bandages there. It's procking like crazy right now, so that's fine. We do love an old bandage. It's, it's just going off, man. All bandages going off. You're chained, fellas. You're chained. You can't do nothing. Ares is also helpful as well, to be honest, as his character. You guys need to chill. Dude, all bandage is, is the girt. The absolute girt. Phase one done. Don't know how these next two phases are going to go, to be honest. Oh, I managed to bleed him. That's good. Got that health back straight away as well. It's nice. Again, I should have come in here with Yum Heart available, really. But I didn't. I don't find this guy too hard anymore. It's a lengthy fight, but I don't find him particularly too difficult. I don't know what happened there. Why am I getting my rage mode here? Why am I just taking damage? Finish him with the rage. Don't know why I'm not getting the rage mode there. Either way, good stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Yet another win, and I'll see you guys in the next one.